African Elephant. For this one, the right hand, you might want to practice slowly. The right hand is a one octave arpeggio. So the first measure is a C, E, G chord, but in an arpeggio style. So finger numbers, one, two, three, five. Remember to stretch up. Then on your measure one, your left hand starting on this C. So here's my middle C, bass clef C. Here's my low C. And then both E flat and B flat. And you also have this D flat and A flat. So you have all these notes keep changing around. On your measure 10, your right hand starting on this G flat and A flat. So here's my middle C. So your G flat is right here below the middle C place. So two hands are pretty close. On measure 12, uh, it says right hand, but the note is written in bass clef. The note is F sharp. It's actually the same key as the G flat. So you actually stay right here on major. 12 on the right hand. Your left hand will go down to this low C. On your major 13, right hand move down to right here, A flat. G flat. B natural. Major 17, your if you finger if your fingers are low enough, you can reach C G C. If not, you can just play the bottom two notes, G C or like this. Just like the first major and second major. And if your fingers are low enough, you can play octave. create more sound. Enjoy practicing the song. Please remember to subscribe and thank you for watching.